What's up, guys? Welcome to Road Ride. I'm Alex Vanover. I'm Bubby FPV. I'm PDFX. And guys, we have this awesome drone right here. It's called the Vision 40. If you haven't seen our video on the Vision 40, we're gonna have a link in the description down below to watch that. But we are out here at the office in California and we decided it'd be really fun because Mr. James over here has not done much racing. Actually, you haven't done any racing this ever, This will be right? my first time yep. on a track. Wow, first right. time on a track. That's crazy. Yeah. So we wanted to set up a track not only to showcase you know, what the Vision 40s can do on a racetrack, but also what a great way to introduce you to some racing as well because we might have some racing things coming up here in the near future that we need you to be a part of. Oh. So why not fly this thing, oh. which is indestructible and you can just bang off the of walls and whatnot and keep on going. So we set up a really cool track here thank you to the Sharma group for letting us use this space we have a bunch of LEDs set up we have a track that goes all inside all outside so all the footage that you guys see will be what we see in the goggles HD we're using the fat shark walk snail mm. avatar system yeah you know I've never really flown whoops that much in HD and mm. at rampage but this was kind of my first time really getting to push it yep. so I haven't done much stuff with racing on this and I'm really really excited because the latency is really nice too on the walk snail system so I think it's gonna be really fun for racing I'm excited to see you Race. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I've just I've been enjoying just having HD in a whoop. Yeah, finally. Well, something that's actually like you can whip around and right. fly freestyle. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be kind of like a fun fly episode where we're teaching James how to race. We're racing around the course ourselves. Yep. We hope you guys enjoy, and let's go and get to it. So I've been crashing a lot, like trying to get faster and faster. Yeah. And it got me thinking like, in a race when you're a beginner, mm -hmm. should you try to go as fast as you can? Mm -hmm. Or is it better to just kind of slow down and yeah. try to make a lap? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, we actually did a racing episode too, a couple of years back that we'll also link in the description down below where I talked a bit about this when it comes to racing strategy. I always tell new people like just finish at the end of the day because Half the time, half the pilots crash out in the race. So if you just stay up, even if you're in fourth place, your odds are 50% that everyone crashes out in front of you and you win the race. Okay, yeah. So like while you're learning, I think it's like good for you too because like it's important to do laps consistently and when you're doing that, you're naturally going to get faster. Okay. But when you're like early on in racing and you're just like pushing, 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 you're gonna be crashing way more than you're actually like just getting laps and getting repetition. Cause yeah. racing is really all about repetition on a course. Like how fast can you learn a course and be able to repeat the laps over and over again? So, and I think like this will translate too well to your freestyle because racing is about being really precise, going through obstacles, gates, keeping lines flowing smoothly from one element to the other. That translates really well over to freestyle where when you're freestyling now, you're gonna have that confidence to go through those gaps even more. But also as a freestyle pilot, you're gonna have that smoothness and the ability to kind of swoop through lines that you'll be able to translate over to racing. So it's good whether you guys are freestyle pilots or racing pilots, be sure to venture into the other side of things if you wanna get better at the one that you love the most. Yeah, I do notice that a lot of the racers tend to be very precise freestyle pilots. Yeah, exactly. Like they can put the quad exactly where it needs to go. Yeah. I think it's like all those Jacob's ladders and things yeah, like yeah. that that just like 
built them to do that. Yeah, exactly. And the freestyle pilots are always like the smoothest ones to the racing course and keeping it smooth and steady wins the race as we've heard many, many times before. So yeah, I would just recommend you just like try and do a whole battery without hitting anything, tapping anything, even if it's like ugly at times, like start with that. And once you're doing that over and over again, then start to, you know, pump the throttle up a little bit more. Just like the goal should be to be finishing three out of every four batteries without mistakes. Okay. All Until right. like you get really comfortable. And then by the end of the night, I want to see you like just pushing as hard as you can out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see you raging out there. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to like really like pitch it sideways and yeah, just yeah. try to like, like make it turn. Yeah, especially in these Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's yeah. see it happen. All right, James, so we raced Vision 40s all night. Are you hooked on racing now, or, meh, what are you thinking? No. No? No? no. Not at all? No, it's You're terrible. No, I had a lot of fun. It was, uh, it's something that, like, I always felt like was too structured for someone like me who, like, is really into freestyle. And yeah. so, I mean, doing it like this, where it's kind of less, um, where there's less pressure, you know, there's not like high stakes or anything. Just right. getting together with all the buddies. Yeah. Getting something yeah. that's like one S, you can crash into all the walls, setting up yeah. gates, making it look cool with all the lights. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. So I think this style of racing is something that I can get into. Maybe not like the big five Yeah, yeah much, just, I mean, just we're just having fun. I think that's the one nice thing about Whoops is like, it was not like super serious to it because you know, we just crash them and get back up. With five inch racing, man, I just remember going out there and I was, I'd burn like, five motors in a day and you're just out there. You yep. know, it's really grinding, but this is more just having fun with your buddies. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. I mean, I had a lot of fun racing the Vision 40. It was fun to like really put it through its paces on a DRL style track and yeah. racing in HD is just awesome. I mean, it's a whole different experience compared to flying whoops previously, yeah. even with racing quads in general. So that yeah. was really cool flying the course and big shout out to the Ghost Space and the yeah. Sharma Group for letting us use their office to do our whoop racing in. So yeah. yeah, if you guys want to pick up the Vision 40, go ahead and check it out in the link in the description. We sell it in a bind and fly and a build kit. So yep. whatever you- 1S and 2S. 1S and 2S. Today yeah. we're ripping the 1S, but if you want it, the super saucy to us go ahead and try that links in the description to all that if you guys like this video make sure to like it subscribe press the notification bell and comment i'll see you guys next time on road right see you guys Woo! i have to race the world champion yeah alex vanover 2019 drl world champion yeah i gotta race him too okay this should be fine